I'm Jerry Frail. And I'm Amy Hoyt. A Destin City Council meeting ends with a last minute item added to the agenda, which results in an unexpected outcome. The call for Carice Lejeune, their city manager, to resign. News 13's Peyton Lo Cicero tells us how the push for a resignation began. It all started here Monday, July 2nd. At first, it was said to be a performance review for the city manager. And then Councilman Rodney Braden wanted to make changes to her contract and eventually called for Lejeune's resignation. It was really disturbing that this all took place in a short period of time. Lejeune has worked for the city for two years and was described to be a person who goes by the book. There's sometimes the city council members that want her to resign um, weren't doing it by the book. And when she would do, you know, try to resist those type of things or correct them, I think that built some animosity there and they just want her gone. Mayor Jarvis says there's a lack of transparency. If you're going to ask someone to resign, uh, usually you give reasons. You allow the other person, to, the city manager, to defend themselves. Her most recent performance review was said to be glowing, and Lejeune even received a raise. Correct, 3.9 out of a 4.0 rating on her job performance. So um, it's kind of interesting that we went from that in January of 2018 to what happened Monday night. I was angry that it went down the way that it went down. Mayor Jarvis warned that this situation is going to cause a problem for the city. Until there's a more accountability where everybody works and operates within the confines of the city charter, then I think this is going to be a continuing problem. The next several days will be crucial for the city of Destin. Lejeune has until July 13th to sign the documents. In Destin, I'm Peyton Lo Cicero, News 13. Legally, the Destin City Council holds the authority to fire and hire the city manager. If the documents are not signed by the 13th, they have the right to terminate the city manager.